Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we're taking a look at some of the steps that our college-bound kids need to be doing, especially now, even though it's January and college is only about eight months away, there's things that they should be doing now. And to help it, we have the Good Know How to Go initiative and talking with all this week on Dateline Schools with our higher education consultant here at RISA, Megan Nesty. And Megan, on Monday, you mentioned briefly about the dreaded FAFSA. <laughs> what is Know How to Go doing to help our parents understand that and help them get that paperwork in for their kids? Absolutely. Uh, FAFSA can definitely seem intimidating. A lot of folks are intimidated by it because it does involve money and a lot of specific information. But in all reality, when students and parents sit down to fill it out, it probably will only take them about 45 minutes. So what we're doing here at Know How to Go to help people through this is um, we've teamed up with St. Clair County Community College, their financial aid office, and their director of um, financial aid will actually be at every high school in the county doing a financial aid night. So throughout uh, this month, February, March, they're going to be doing financial aid nights to actually help students and parents fill out that FAFSA form. So, so that, that's a whole different approach this year than what you've done in the past, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I know that they, they did go out to some high schools before, but now I, I do know that they're going to every single high school to really do that. Uh, we're also putting on a scholarship clinic in March, and then we're also doing a how do I read my financial aid award letter. So after you fill out the FAFSA form, you're going to get award letters from different schools, and how do you interpret those? So that can also be a, a challenging process for some parents and students. So we're helping with that. Is there a deadline that parents need to have that FAFSA in? Or is there any little secret on that piece? Well, we always encourage students to fill out the FAFSA as soon after January 1st as possible, simply because a lot of the money that's out there is on a first-come, first-served basis. So the earlier you get in line, the more likely you are to get some money. To be considered for state aid, so to be considered for aid in the state of Michigan, students and families do have to fill out their FAFSA by March 1st. But you can fill it out any time, but to be considered for that state aid, it's by March 1st. And most of this filling out isn't just paper, pencil. They can do a lot of this work online, can't they? Absolutely. Online is a great tool. Um, it will save information. So when students go to fill it out again the next year to qualify for aid, it saves that information. So it takes very little time, which is nice. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.